Hey everyone, this is Patrice with the Positivity Corner and I'm back with another action video and this is actually going to be the last one that I'm going to do for the great Canadian band, the Guess Who. Ooh, this one. This is their signature song, their most popular song from their sixth studio album. 1970 went to number one mm -mm -mm, on the Billboard Hot 100. In fact, this song was so damn popular for 1970 for the Billboard year end chart. It was the number three song of 1970. You could not get, I remember when this song came out. I was, yeah, I was in grammar school. You could not get away from this song. You just could not. All of the members of the band are credited with this song. They all got a songwriting credit for this. Even though a lot of the other songs were written by either Burton Cummings or Randy Bachman. Why? Because the music and lyrics of this particular song that I'm about to play were actually improvised on stage during a concert. They were playing notes, riffing, band gets together, they start jamming. Improvise the lyrics on the spot. They notice a kid, and you know this is old, with a cassette recorder. <laughs> Making a bootleg recording of what they're doing on stage, right? They're improvising. They asked him for the tape. Why he gave it to him, I don't know. Because I sure enough wouldn't have gave it to him. But that's Miss Me. I'm just saying. They listened to the tape. And they wrote down the words, I guess, that they were, you know, improvising. They revised it and came up with this record. Um, the lyrics have been debated. Um... Burton Cummings said it doesn't have anything to do with politics. This has been co-opted, especially in the United States, as a political song. Um, it's considered in the United States as an attack on U.S. politics. Burton Cummings said that didn't have nothing to do with it. Um, he just said girls in the States seem to be, you know... <laughs> And kind of dangerous. <laughs> and when he, you know, says the famous, you know, line, American women stay away from me. He, what he really meant was, you know, I prefer Canadian women. <laughs> it's, it's not, um, it's considered like a chauvinistic kind of song, but the people, uh, who, performed it they said it's not that way and you have to think about the context of when the song was written um yeah i don't i don't see it that way either but You know, after the song was released, though, um, they were invited. The guess who was invited to play at the White House, right? Shortly after the song got released. And um, Pat Nixon, who was the wife of the then president, Richard Nixon, she asked them not to play it. Mm, yeah. Kind of controversial, but I don't really see it that way. I don't know. Who am I to say? 
Oh, and I just want to apologize in advance. There's a gazillion versions of this on YouTube. I got a headache trying to find a clip. Oh my God, there's so many versions. I just playing a single edit. And I apologize in advance. I just got a headache trying to find a clip. I was like, I just picked anything. Mm. <laughs> this is the guess who with the number one smash from 1970. And this classic is called American Woman. <laughs> that comment about the war machine and you know ghetto scenes or whatever mm, and yeah but it's a good song <laughs> they rocking it that was from 1970 oh my goodness the guess who with their number one hit American woman and of course there's been one notable 
uh, one of the most, uh, there's been plenty of covers of it, but one of the most notable one was, of course, Lenny Kravitz, 1999 version, which he recorded for the soundtrack of the film Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. It was released as a single. Yeah. He won the damn Grammy for it, Lenny Kravitz. It's a good song. I mean, it's a really good song. The way that it's structured and everything. It's just it's just a great song. And let me tell you, the Guess Who? Great band. Um, I don't think they're underrated necessarily. Um... No, I don't think they're underrated. You hear them in a conversation when you talk about the sixties. They're they're definitely mentioned. I don't think they're I don't think they're underrated at all. Um Thank goodness we have the records. They've had, you know, they had changes in personnel and stuff like that. And actually in the US at least the hits kinda stopped for them, you know, after the early 70s but they continue to have great success everywhere else especially in Canada great band and uh, to the guess who past and present thank you for the music yeah I think they're one of the the best bands to come out of the era for sure as always this is Patrice with the positivity corner Please like, click, share, subscribe, push that button for further content. And check out my new channel. Ooh, just came out in January, folks. It's called Club Classics Revisited with me, of course, PM Coleman. And I'm just indulging my love of disco dance club classics a little house thrown in yeah i'm having a good time over there check it out i will be back with another video series another artist and tons of my favorite tunes take care everybody